So I'm a chess surgeon who's been practicing in the city of New Delhi for 30 years now. So I have been operating on people's lungs for 30 years. And I have seen a change in the color of lungs of people. So from a mostly pink lungs, as I used to see way back in 1988, when I started my career at Ames, New Delhi, uh, only in smokers, I would see black dots and black deposits. Today, I rarely see a pink lung, irrespective of the age of the patients I'm operating. So whether they are adults, they have black spots, or even teenagers whom I get to operate occasionally have black deposits on their lungs, which basically denotes the amount of toxins. I don't remember when I last saw a pink lung in the OT and the clinical manifestation of that is the increase in the asthmatic problems in children, increase in pneumonias in children, increase in various lung infections in children as well as adults, increase in the number of COPD cases, a frightening development and that is four changes that I'm noticing in lung cancer. Number one, an absolute increase in the incidence. So there are more cases coming now. Number two, occurrence at a younger age. So earlier we were seeing them in 50s and 60s, and now we are seeing them in 40s, even 30s. 10% of my patients today are in 30s, and recently I saw a 28 year old. Number three, very few women earlier, now, nearly 40% of patients are women and most of them are non-smokers from non-smoking families. And the most dreadful of the four is a change in the smoker-non-smoker -smoker ratio. So 1988, this ratio was nine is to one. So 90% will be smokers, very few non-smokers. And recent data, my own data, shows it to be one is to one. We find that a large number of the chemicals which are present in the cigarette smoke are also present in the polluted air. So if chemical A, B, C and D as part of cigarette smoke are known and accepted to cause lung cancer and the chemicals A, B, C and D are also present in the polluted air, do you need Einstein's brain to conclude that polluted a air is causing cancer and it's no wonder that not today, but six years back, WHO accepted polluted air as a carcinogen of category one. One more fact which I give in support is, why were we seeing these patients in 50s and 60s earlier? Is because people used to start smoking in about at the age of 20 years. We need exposure to cancer causing agents for about 25 to 30 years before tissues become cancerous. So you start exposure at 20, at 30 years, by 50, you are ready to have lung cancer. Now today, our exposure is starting at birth. A child who's born in New Delhi city today, when air quality index is 600 plus, particle 2.5 is 500 plus, which is equal to 25 plus cigarettes. Every newborn who's born in the city of New Delhi is smoking 25 cigarettes from the first day of his or her life. And if you have smoking starting from the first breath of your life, by the time you are 25 years of age, you've been a smoker for 25 years. Yeah. So you are ready to have lung cancer at the age of 25 or 30. So I'm not surprised that I'm seeing lung cancer in 20s or 30s now.